Just gotta wait on the supplies we're gonna get today. You ready? You're not still here. you're not still pissing over there, are you? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta come out from work. You're nasty. All right, so you have a, a broom and dustpan. We need a broom. Okay. Maybe do you have I a list of how much shit? Do you have a list of what what we need here? A new garbage can. I can take them off off hand. Why uh, is that on the floor? Well, my back's a little sore. Hey, I got my posing music on the radio. You like that sound system? Yeah, no, I was just, I had Jay just Cutler. Heard. Do you like it? Do you like how the uh, fine tuned system? It actually smells better in here too. I'll give you that. Yeah, I can breathe better. They could have done a better fucking job, though, man. I, yeah, yeah, they did. I mean, that, they they did do a good com compared to what. what why is this not thrown out yet, Leonard? Garbage yeah. comes out tomorrow. But you had a whole week. Yeah. Why well, was working all week? Plus. No, I know it's real hard for you to walk down to the end of the sh end of the driveway. No, no, it comes out tomorrow. It's a normal. Okay. So, and there's parts in the shower they missed too. But compared to what it was. Yeah, but still, from what the extra you gave them. Yeah, no shit. They took in for throwing all that stuff out. That's inexcusable. Like I said, I want to show you this. If you saw this, it was sitting right here. Yellow tops. GHRP six. Would you throw this out? I especially, dug through the garbage. Especially, especially, you dug through the garbage for that? Yeah. How long was it sitting out there? Overnight. Was it cool that night? Well, this doesn't, it wasn't mixed, so it doesn't need to be refrigerated. Okay. One of the GH, this was thrown out too, and that's like... Yeah, even if you don't know what it is, you wouldn't throw it out. And if you know what it is, you don't throw it, it out. Like that is an excuse. I agree with you, and man. They threw out this, IGF-1R3, which is a very expensive peptide. Yeah. For research purposes only. <laughs> <laughs> Threw out my bacteriostatic water. This is not easy. Oh, it's hard to get because this will be going jet cocaine with. And they use this to mix your GH and stuff. Didn't throw out my insulin, thank God, but didn't throw out my kit, but shit, threw out a thing yeah, like this. I, I don't, there's no reason. Got my for liquid that. Cialis. Liquid Cialis? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Good Christ. stuff. Yeah, if you ever want some, let me know. It's fucking cheap as fuck. Works great. Pumps yeah. you out tough. All right, All right. Yeah. I'll give it a shot. I don't uh -huh. really need it right you now. You're gonna believe me. You'll get more like you think you got more than nothing. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> You're fucking for hours, right? And yeah, it's just a matter of. Th I still got to go through things and thought I. This my blade on my body shaver is gone. It's fucking. Yeah, working. we're gonna get a new one tonight. Why don't you like, throw fuck. it the fuck away then? One way to. I'm just gonna. If it doesn't some work, why would you gather shit listen? Up. The golden rule is if you haven't used something in six months to a year, throw it the or fuck out. Or looked at it, probably Muscle Magazines yeah, throw too. Throw it the fuck out. What is all this shit anyway? Are these records or magazines? Muscle Magazines. Muscle mostly. Magazines? I used to get free from the Muscle Store. When they had magazines, I don't think they That's right. You yeah. know, bodybuilding That's books people have given me. Fucking best book ever, right? Yeah. Well, what is all these? Are these clothes you can throw the fuck big. out? Yeah, I'm going to go through Throw it the fuck them. out. Let's, come on. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of them. Rid of this clutter. Yeah, look at that shit. I mean, why couldn't they throw bleach on there? We're gonna get you some bleach. You also need to just paint the walls. Uh, yeah. You got HD or is this, this is a fucking- It's a piece of shit, I gotta get you. Maybe we'll see how much a TV is too. How about that? Yeah. The viewers don't give a fuck what we spend it on, just as long as we don't waste it I on trannies. Oh, no, they're gonna... And nothing that's gonna stay in this, because once you leave, you, you know. I, I don't know how, you know, the fucking landlord never comes in and checks up on you. He did. I mean, look at that's that's a brand new fucking water heater. So he obviously was in here. Well, he promised to get a new cabinet thing. This is all messed up. He he was obviously in here to replace that. He could have seen the filth and would. Oh, he did. If he I was, was a landlord, I'd be like, you either clean this shit up or you're pleased. getting the fuck out. No, he wasn't too pleased. Oh, you know, I, I you know what he said? What? He just looked at me. He says, he goes, don't you clean? I says, I'm training for a competition. I mean, son, that's the last thing on my mind. And he didn't say shit. Yeah. He didn't have the balls. Well, of course not. Brad, your teeth are looking remarkably whiter. My teeth are. What is this? Uh, everyone trying to be like me? You're, now you're gonna leapfrog How the fuck pigs? do you have such good oral hygiene, but the rest you don't have? Like I said, you, Brad, it it's, doesn't make sense. The cleanliness goes into the body. This stuff is garbage. It's meaningless. Material things. Do you feel like you don't yeah. deserve nice shit? Yeah, because Jesus didn't. Have material things. No, no, no. Because I just Jesus? don't want to become a cookie cutter. Or was your dad that much of a fucking asshole? Well, he always said he used that for motivation. He said when you're, when he was, you know, his single mother, his garbage, his stuff was thrown out on the street. She had six kids, you know, back in Oakland, Pennsylvania. He come home from school like every other day, and I guess his mother had trouble paying the rent with six kids. 
they didn't have welfare, maybe they got cheese or butter from the government, but his stuff would be thrown on the streets of Oakmont, you know, people talk around the town. So he used that, he goes, wait till I get those fuckers as rich fucks, because Oakmont's a rich, high-class town. Oh, yeah. And they would get in their cars, you know, the 57 Chevys, and load up, and they'd ride up to the football practice field, and he used to remember having to carry his school bags, his helmet, his shoulder pads, and walk up the hill. And he said the big best thing for him was, when it, you know, they're having fun. He said once they got to practice and the drills, he said he'd rip them apart, kill them. He goes unmercifully. I mean, they literally had to pull people off him, and he used that to get into, you know, the Boston College full ride, and then for, drafted by the NFL simply because he was so, you know, took it out on people. That he that he lived like shit. Well, he had no, you know. He, well, it's not. It's a he, tough situation. He was just born into the wrong family. Right, his father so, killed himself when he was three years old. Never had any. Jesus you know, jumped Christ. into the. So you, Allegheny River. So you have the insanity in your fucking. Blood. Well, no, I just I let him down just instead of using that to where I could have made a football. I was sort of was I understand where he's him. coming from. I, you wasted talent. But he ripped out my self confidence. Yeah, but as far as pro wrestling goes, yeah. I mean, fuck. You know, I graduated from a school. I should have followed through with it back then. It's lack of self confidence. That sucks, man. Right, but thanks to the viewers here, now I feel like you conquer the world. That's right. Good. You but can. maybe some people say it's a little too late. But fuck it. It's never too late. It gives a shit. I don't care about age. You're 18 forever, right? I want to open up that fucking oven. That's one thing we did not do. All right, it's not too bad. I thought there was some. Yeah, they threw out my aluminum there, foil. It's a whole bunch of shit they threw. I'm just being honest. Do you have a? I know that's fine. Do you have a list? I can go offhand pretty much. Okay, because when we're gonna go through the store, you gotta know what the hell you need. What 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 kind of garbage are you drinking? What, what pre-workout? Actually, crap? I'll give it two double thumbs up. Pre-workout, I mix the Bridge Piana 5150, a scoop and a half. So you? Because I'm 3:30. You endorse this guy now? I like his products. All right. And this full as fuck. It's a pump nitric oxide, opens up the blood vessels, and it has some good mind stimulants in too. Scoop and a half each. Also, you get this at Walmart. It's, it's like a Beta Tour HMB derivative. You know, it's real cheap at Walmart. It's like 16 bucks. Throw a couple beta, of these beta, in there. Beta for the betas, huh? Yeah. Throw a couple of these in there. And then, something secret I shouldn't show you. What I'll put the in there too. That was some shit. Suck it all down. Oh, you already mixed this all up? Yeah. Last serving of this, so last containers. I use empty containers. How much water? Stuff. How much water do you mix in there? You About just ten ounces. Out. Suck it down. Also, my Fenabut, which gut is disgusting, dude. It's when freaking it? ripped. It's not ripped. It's got some. Want to try some Fenabut, Brad? See if it hits you. Fenabut? Yeah, you want to try it? No. You sure? No, I Take don't. Take six want... tabs. Oh my God, Leonard. You got a nice buzz off it. It's all right, I already have a buzz. <laughs> good, good figures. <laughs> but this is good over the counter and clean. Highly recommend it. Jesus Christ. Get you in the right Dude, frame I, of mind. Looking the way you do, I don't want to take anything you take. No, 330 no pounds I weighed in. Look how lean this is. There's not an mm. ounce of fat on me. Jesus Look at this. 330? Is that subcutaneous fat under there, do you think? And there's what not is an it? ounce that's... Is it your, muscle. St your stomach is distended? Yeah, the muscles are so I've never big. Seen you do, I've never seen you do a sit-up. You don't have to. They're overrated. They really are. You don't do abs at all. They're overrated. So how is, your, how do you, how is that muscle? Probably squats. They say a lot of stuff. They say so-called You look like work. you got fucking triplets in there. Yeah, they're just Holy big. Holy shit. Big. <laughs> yeah, some Haitian girl came up to me. Ooh, it's big. It's hard. You got baby inside. That when she does that, you tell her lower. Yeah. <laughs> you got baby inside. Yeah. Hey, did you see me from the southern states at my peak? Yeah. 2006. I didn't have the gut back then. Yes, you did, you asshole. I like that. I bigger arms. You got no legs. You had, your arms were good though, but uh, shit. What other stupid pictures? Andrew you Kalor with a Haitian and then hit the fucking. <laughs> Andrew Kalura not in shape doing that contest just so you didn't have to pay. Those are two of you faggots. Fucking John Durante, the Filipino 
He's pro. like five foot. Yeah. This was ten years ago? Yeah. Who the fuck is that? Who? What in the fuck is that? No, my mom's cat one of her cats that died. That's me a four hundred pounds sitting in Kalora's truck. Jesus Christ, you fat animal. So now you're in your prime, right? Or was that your prime? The way I look at it, my prime isn't even been reached. Did you hear that, Jay Cutler, you quitter? <laughs> I like how people say, boy, it used to be big, Jay. Well, you like partying in Vegas too much. We're out partying, we're hitting the gym. Jealousy will get you nowhere, Leonard. I think he's the one that's jealous. Yeah, I'm sure. It's going to cause him to make a comeback. So are you calling him out? Yeah. He doesn't even have to train for the next 10 years and he'd blow you off fucking stage. <laughs> yeah, Probably. <laughs> there's no, I mean, honest, there's, quite honestly, clean. there's no reason why we should have even fucking done this shit. You're 46 years you, old. You happened to stumble You're upon, man. stumble in there with a camera. Huh? You had to stumble in there with a camera. What are you talking about? If you hadn't stumbled in there with that camera, this would never would have happened. Yeah, that's true. You see my You're lucky these people the are so generous. Show the no viewers. You a fucking Andrew dime. made a prediction to see if my underwear would still be on the road from last week. What underwear? There, is that that right there? You threw your underwear in the fucking no, street? The girls did. Oh, Leonard, are you is fucking serious? Is that a towel? I was driving by last night. I... This is last week and the shit is still sitting here? No, that's not it. What is that over Where there? Is it? That's it. <laughs> yeah, it's my fucking underwear. Why don't you throw it the fuck away? Oh, yeah, it is your underwear. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's still sitting there. Andrew went and made a pet. What is wrong in this fucking neighborhood? Nobody cleans up after themselves? <laughs> Jesus Christ. You fit right in here, boy. So your underwear's been sitting there for a fucking week. <laughs> Reminds me of a story. Oh, uh, no. Back in Oakland, when I was a kid, we used to go play at this kid's house, and his he would shit his pants, and what his mother would do to embarrass him to try to stop doing it was... She'd take the shitty underwear and put it on the mailbox. So when the mailman comes by to deliver the mail, she would tell him that, oh, uh, Mike did it. This is Mike's underwear. Tell the mailman that. That's, so that's uh, the, I would never deliver the mail at that fucking but that's house. A tra- if there's that's dirty a tra- underwear on the mailbox, I'm not fucking the fucking thing. So when he would ask, what's going on? Well, this is his right here. And that was her way to... Embarrass him out of shitting his pants. Oh my Bring the mailman into it. Yeah. And she used to That's call a great sh- fucking idea. She used to call him, hey, shit pants. Like in front of the other little kids and he'd get mad. Mom! It's hilarious. Shit pants. <laughs> Why don't you just let him wear, make him wear fucking So I figure, hell, I had to put my underwear there for, for our mailman. <laughs> See what he thinks about that. I wouldn't, he won't deliver your mail. I'll tell him not to, too. <laughs> Why in the fuck did they throw your underwear out in the street? My guess, your guess is as good as mine. Knowing the other stuff that they threw out, I really can't fathom why. Yeah. Especially after you guys gave them extra money. Well, the extra money was so they would give you a fucking beating when they were done, but I don't think they understood that either. The other either. one got scared. Well, of course they got scared. You fuck. What did you do? Uh, yes, you do. What the fuck did you do? What did you tell me you did? I walked out. When she knocked on my door, I opened the door. And I was on the liquid Cialis, I had a roaring heart on. <laughs> and she looked down. And you were... She looked down. You were naked. Are you wearing... I was completely naked. I always... Oh, my fucking I'm always in the God. house, I'm naked. Oh, my God. So I figured Leonard. this shouldn't be any different. I really oh. wasn't... <laughs> Conscientious of the fact they were still there. I actually got a good hour nap. Because, oh. you know, I trained earlier and... Yeah, they never... The agreed. one with the they glasses. The other one wasn't never, there, but the girl ne- with the glasses. They, she looked down. They never agreed to fuck you. Yeah. They, we thought they agreed. I thought we made it pretty clear. Andrew spoke Spanish, and by the way, for all you ass wipes, oh, they're Brazilian, they don't speak Spanish. They both spoke Spanish as well. Andrew made sure of that, so. Fucking well, dopes. Andrew should have been there to film it. They took the money right there. Where's some flaws there? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't a perfect. For that kind of money, believe me, I would have cleaned the place. You should clean it anyway. You live there. That is your well, fucking home. It just... Don't remind me. Yeah, I mean, listen. You do what you Brad, want. Brad, life is too short to clean. How about that? <laughs> it's too short to clean. Another uh-huh. thing. Uh-huh. 
makes a Brad, lot of sense. We could, life is so freaking. I mean, look at George Animal Steel. He's gone. Dusty Rhodes, Macho Man. Oh, they had good lives. Big man. John they Studd. They're fun. gone, but they're gone. Yeah, but you, but. Road Warrior Hawk. Hey, listen. You're gonna be gone soon too with all the shit that you pumped. Chris in your Farley. Body. He would have been 53 today. Yeah, well, Chris Farley. Yeah. That's out of right field. I didn't even know you paid attention to anybody like that. Yeah, he was pretty funny. He's funny as hell. Fat guy in a little coat, just like you. <laughs> the ripped guy. Yeah, well, that just goes to show you gotta be careful with all that shit, man. Well, Unless you won't care about dying, you know? Well, there's nothing to care about. Yeah, we're, I all, know, we're all, exactly. We're all gonna be The life is so short, shit. You Brad. can walk outside and get struck by fucking lightning. People worry about too much shit. That's true, but cleanliness is kind of like, I mean, it's... And I got a message for people to go to psychologists. Life is too short to talk about your problems or your depression. You wouldn't be depressed if you lived a couple hundred years ago. You wouldn't be, you'd be too busy looking for water. And food, yeah. Right. Shit. Just think, I mean, I, people, I'd love to see everybody go back to the, even 100, 150 years ago, before AC down here, you'd see that widespread A couple hundred years, it's not even been that long. Yeah. Man. That's why. I mean, with this thing of Publix and this and that. That's how the snowbirds happened, up, because yeah. they would go up there because there's no air, con now that there's air conditioning, right. a lot of them stay year round. Yeah. That's why the Africans, they had it easy for years. There's a lot of animals riding around and they live right in the woods with them. You know, they, you know, it's an easy kill. You don't have to worry about getting, when it's cold, you can be lazy and just lay around all day. Of course, a lot of them, them in fact is they eat, eat their family members or eat their grandmother. Put them in a pot. Cannibalism didn't occur, it occurred widespread throughout that continent. Tons of cannibalism. Would you eat another human being? If I had to. <laughs> Survival of the fittest, but... You probably already have, you fucking animal. <laughs> they say the best part is their ass, because of the buttocks, the meat. Oh my fucking God. If you're going to eat a human being, just eat their ass cheeks. You know, you got to be mean. You, know? you don't have to be mean. I'm not mean. I just give constructive criticism. I'm honest. I don't give a fuck either what they say. All these, uh, you know, it's a lot of these fucking obsessed trolls that can't take, you know, oh, you're a bully, you're this, you're that. These fucking people have no fucking idea. They've never been, you know, they're not around us. They, oh, everything they see is just on camera. And so what if I mean? I don't give a fuck. And if you don't like what I do or say or what we do or say, watch something else. It's very simple. I like, really don't give a fuck. There's not much else to watch. Care. I watched don't give some a of shit. those guys the... giving their steroid reviews. That is the most boring thing I've ever seen. Yeah, most life. of these fucks that they do video, they're all pretenders. They're not, they'll never say anything to rot, you know. Lee Priest is a bore fest, puts you to sleep with his melancholy verb, verbiage. I don't watch him. I don't really know who the fuck. That's the Australian prick with the tattoos on his face, right? Yeah. Gives a shit about him, too. He's a cocky little faggot. <laughs> I saw the one thing he did, I guess. They did like a like an interview with Jason or something, and he was trolling him the whole time, just saying shit. Jason, <laughs> Jason didn't even let the fucking get a wor uh, the guy get a word in edgewise. He just kept talking over them. It was fucking hysterical. The Lee Priest had a lot of my success, too. Why? He's what training. did he ever fucking do for He's you? His training and eating philosophies on point. Oh, really? He said he go he takes some st mild steroids before his contest, but mild, yeah. Once sure. the off-season started, he yeah, sure. just eat. Yeah, okay. He'd eat and lift heavy. Okay. And he would get fat. And people would say, you're not going to get in shape. He'd wink his eye at him and say, yes, I will. And that's the best way to get big and shape for a show. you got to overfeed. And then when you diet, hopefully you'll keep some of this muscle. <coughs> that's why I'm not fat enough. I mean, he was fatter than I was you, off season. You're not fat enough? Is that no, I'm not saying? mean enough. Oh, Leonard. I still have abs. I still have veins coming you out. You don't have fucking abs. That's a gut, man. Your your stomach is ridiculous. That's all the abs. That's thickness. Yeah, but you're not going to win anything looking like that. I 
I don't even hey, understand I why the fuck you and Jason bother comments. stepping on I fucking stage. It. Somebody don't... shouted Shrek at me at my first show. That's a compliment. Shrek's big. <laughs> Somebody came and said I look like a real life version of the Incredible Hulk. Somebody uh, else says, I'm always asked if I'm an just NFL Just feeding player. your fucking delusions. I'm always asked if I'm an who what NFL team do I or Did you play? Yeah, you do look like a former player. Or and I, you know what I tell them? I said, what? I said, there's no NFL player with the amount of muscle I had. I said, I take that as an insult. You're fucking ridiculous. You can say that with a straight face and honestly that's believe what I, the that's fuck what I you're say saying. Now. I said, don't you insult I give you me. one that's fucking got way more muscle than you and bigger, J.J. Watt. Bullshit. He would fucking smoke Bullshit. your fat ass. Bullshit. Yeah, he's quick, but he's not fucking bigger than me. He's a fucking flabby. He's six fucking five and like 280 or that's some five shit. five compete at 280. I'm six three. I'm bigger than him. But all your weight is right there in that fucking. I, I guarantee you got fifty pounds in that fucking gut. Darn right. If you didn't have a gut, if I locked up with you that, you might have a shot at. If I locked, something, locked up I with know. that little pretty boy, believe me, my core. He'd be. He. That's what I think he'd do is I'll quick me because I get locked up with him. Believe me, I'll push him around at will. Well, unfortunately, that'll never happen. So we can't see. If you're right, but I can guarantee you. I seen him on that commercial with them headphones, being a cookie cutter. Oh my God! So now, if you wear headphones, you're a fucking cookie cutter. Yeah, listen to some kind of sissy music, going like this with his hands with the drums. Oh Jesus! Everybody's a cookie cutter to you. Yeah. Yeah. And you're not, because you don't clean your home. You eat like shit. Pump your body full of shit, and you try to, you try to look like a cookie cutter though, because bodybuilders are fucking cookie cutters. They all look the same. No bodybuilder looks like me. Well, it's because you're not a fucking bodybuilder. You're right. I'm an athlete. You're an athlete. That chooses to display my physique for the benefit of mankind. Yeah, it's very entertaining. I'll give you that. And it's you guys all, do it's have, all you guys have balls to go up there, looking, especially looking the way that the two of you do. And knowing that you have no shot of ever fucking winning anything, but you'll still go up there and do it and embarrass yourself. But <laughs> you, you just you like you're a fucking you're a masochist. So I, I don't know why you'd want to torture yourself. You have I to. Guess it's different. There's fucking guys. You fucking guys will have to get up in the middle of the night to eat a certain amount. You got to count everything. Who the fuck has got time for that you shit? You got a contest maybe sometimes. I know, but again, the contest gets you nothing. Nothing. You get zero. How the fuck are you gonna put your body through all that shit? It's not easy fucking working out and eating clean like that for what? How many six fucking months to get what? A fucking plastic goddamn trophy? It makes no fucking sense. To me, it makes no sense. But I guess I'm the fucking crazy delusional one, right? Ah. Uh. Well, I guess people do have their passion about And they'll it. say shit, oh, well, but then why do you take TRT? Because I had low T, so I take it. I take fucking 200 milligrams a week isn't shit. What do you take a week? 1,200? Huh. Huh? Yeah, when I'm having a contest. Yeah, exactly. 200 when milligrams I'm bulking, I double shit. that. And they say, <laughs> you know, they like to talk shit, too, that me and Andrew make no gains. That's right. We don't gain any fucking weight. I've worn the same size clothes for fucking... 20 years and I eat and drink whatever the fuck I want so those are gains for you faggots I'm not we're not bodybuilders that's what some of these idiots don't understand just because we go to the gym doesn't mean we're bodybuilders we go to the gym to stay in shape fucking ridiculous and I could criticize and talk shit about whoever the fuck I want like I said if you don't like it typical bodybuilder watch right something there. else He's not a bodybuilder, he's an old fuck. <laughs> he's like fucking 70 years old. Alright, we're gonna go have a good workout today, bitch. I'm getting wood right now. Oh, thank God we're here.